Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Sam is once again spraying for those boxwood beetles. I put vinegar in there this time, so who knows, I don't see it working. And we're going to use all the straw that we bought for our Thanksgiving uh, photo op to winterize our chicken coop. So it's true we did order another chicken coop and it will be coming soon. It's so dark out here. It'll be coming soon. Uh, we're still gonna use the one that we have for some of our chickens, mostly like for like our little tiny chickens and so that they have like opportunity to go to wherever they wanna go. To our new chicken coop that will hopefully be in this area and then uh, they can go into the other part, like you guys will see, I'll show you. We're making it bigger, we're making it better, we're making it more room and giving them more options. But for today, we're going to winterize this little coop and get them ready for winter. They all come to see if I brought treats, but I did not bring any treats and they can't be fooled. Well, he can be fooled, he's a boy though. I have a plan. What's your plan, but sister? First are we putting the straw all over in the chicken coop, like every single area? No, we're using the straw to, so in the- Just the thing inside there for a bed. Yeah, in the winter I change oh, shavings. We were gonna put it like everywhere so it's like a nice fluffy bedding. It gets wet and stinky and gross if you put it everywhere. You should though. Some people put it around the edges of their coop to like stop snow from coming in, but we use something different for that. You think leaves in the chicken coop would be good? They decompose no, and get gross. Just throw the chickens in the leaf pile. Oh, well, that would be fun. Place. But look at how pretty. You can't really tell. But it looks pretty. I love this little area for the chickens. And then, like I said, we plan to expand to over here. It's just getting the time. Oh. Hello, little chickens. So, I tasked Gabby with the job of vapor wrapping our chicken coop. So, what we did last year, and Sam did it. This year, we're going to do it ourselves. I hate to do this to them because it's still nice out, but we have to do it when it's kind of nice out so that we're not out here when it's freezing cold. I also love little spaces. So, whoa. So I love this little space and I love spaces in the bushes and in the trees. Like yesterday, I think yesterday, yeah, I think the other day I saw a video of some little kids playing, making a fort inside the trees. And I love that. I did that when I was little. And I always forget to do it when my grandkids are here, but I think that they would love to make a fort I in these can't. trees. My grip strength is not... No. No, I could only do two. Is it because it's empty? No, it's full. So Gabby's taking over the vapor barrier. I put it around that no, tree. No, no. Hold it. That branch. Hold it like this. Okay. Gabby and I actually work pretty good together. The chickens are not happy with what we're doing here, but look, it's, it's looking so good. I, we're getting it done. So this is it, this is our bubble wrapped chicken coop. Let me show you. This is it, it's all bubble wrapped. So they have, you guys can't even see them in there. I wanted to do like three or four thick layers of it, but Sam says it's too much. And last year we did this and it kept them nice and cozy. It keeps the snow out keeps the wind out, keeps them dry, which is a big thing. And whenever we would go in there last winter, like to fill up, fill up their food and stuff, oh my gosh, it was so warm. It was, al it was always warm in there. All right, so the last thing that we are gonna do today is fill our chicken coop with nice soft straw. This is so soft, like nice and dry and soft. I don't think any of this is soft. I, it feels soft to me, but they will love it. Like take stuff like this out. Yeah, we cleaned it out and after the winter I'm and this stupid thing right here because I can't All right. <laughs> it's hard to I can't reach in the far back. <laughs> oh, it is annoying. You can sprinkle some of this out there so that they can have like a dust bath in it. Um so what's really nice <coughs> eh, it makes you choke. <coughs> What's really nice is that the chickens will all come in here and push this down and make it all perfect for them. Also put hay down there to kind of block the wind and I know they'll go in there. Look at these adorable vines. Wait, do you guys see them? Those aren't vines. They are. I planted them before at my old house. But look, you can totally make a decoration with that. Oh, there's berries on them. And berries, but... What kind of berries? Oh, those are weird. They're definitely not edible berries. 
Well, what are they? I don't know. But they're cool. Aren't these cool? Anyway, they're all through there and they were never there before. I love that. She doesn't like hugs? Puts her head down and says, get away from me. Um, Sylvia and I are actually looking forward to like the winter season so we can do stuff with our girls. Fun fact about Willow. Yeah, she only lets you catch her when she wants you to catch her. Well, out there, like in the outside part of the field, she's like, ah, uh, no, you can't catch me because she runs up. Hey, I don't have treats. And she's like, you can't catch me. And then as soon as I put her in the arena, she's like, okay, you can catch me now. Yeah. Whoa, be careful. <laughs> Crazy. So uh, I don't think I told you guys, but we're getting ready for our first trail ride of the season. <laughs> Of the whole year, like our real. Well, I guess it wasn't my first trail ride. I did have a first trail ride. We're getting ready for like a group trail ride, like a trail ride, all of us together, and like a big group one, not just me and a friend. We're all going. We're going with friends. Gabby's going. It's going to be exciting. Like, Sam's truck comes on Thursday, and then let me tell you, <laughs> we are jumping in it. <laughs> So oh, today is Tuesday, but the rest of this week I'm going to be working with Penny, who's like incredibly calm, um, and getting her ready, and it make sure that she's like, she's in the right mindset. One the thing that I find works best with her is doing like a bunch of groundwork stuff with her. So that is what today's about. Gabby's gonna jump on Chino and see how his feet are. Also, Chino has boots that he can that he can wear. So hopefully he'll be doing okay and he's ready for it. He's ready to go. He's ready to be ridden. Um, but because of different kinds of terrain, we don't know what the trail is gonna be like. So he has boots. I, I should go find those. I told Gabby to ride Western today because I didn't show you guys, but Cavalieri. You guys know how much I love the brand Cavalieri. And the reason I love it is because it's high end. <laughs> Chino loves it too. It's high end tack, but the price is so good. So they have sent us this saddle pad, and I've been wanting the girls to have their own Western saddles and their own Western saddle pad. So this is it. That's the brand Cavalieri. It's a wool felt pad. I love wool. There's so many reasons why wool is such a good thing to ride in. The quality, like that's what I love about Cavalieri, is the quality. The quality and the price. So uh, Gabby's gonna try this saddle pad and we're gonna see how she does. But we got another saddle pad and I forgot to tell you guys, I can't believe it. She's scared that once she saw it, she ran outside. Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. She literally is scared till she sees Sophie has treats and then she's like, oh, do whatever you want. Oh shoot, I went to go find his boots. Where are you going? <laughs> she just keeps walking. Like this is how amazing this horse is. She's been working with so much that she just repeats whatever Sophie tells her to do. I'm glad you came for a while. I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? All right, we're almost ready. Sam also bought a new salt lick. Sam, why don't you put the salt lick up for Chino? Salt lick holder. You hold that while Gabby grooms you. <laughs> you have yourself a sloth. Up and down, like that. This one doesn't go because it gets stuck. But he does it like that. Oh, if that's... this thing is long enough. Yeah, he like, he likes what he likes. I mean, now this poor sloth has a dirty hand, but he like sucks it and gums it even. No. I played for you. I was crappy, but you sang along and 
I thought you knew I could die to keep you near We've got a falling tent It's 5.30 This is a saddle pad that I bought long, long, long ago, and I like it, and I, and I, I don't know, it's not my favorite, to be honest. I feel like it's gotten misshapen over time. A wool pad will conform to the horse's body and stay, like, in that shape. I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to have, like, more Western saddle pads. They're really expensive tech. Typically, they're really expensive. All right, so these are Chino's boots. I'll bring them up to the house and we'll wash them. Hopefully, they still fit him. He's got scoop boots. You have to try to see if they fit him. All right, go ahead, try them on. Do you want to try and ride them with them today? So Chino has scoop boots, and we also have a pair of Cavellos? Cavellos. Yeah, I don't think any horse really loves them at first, but anyway. He likes them on trails when the rocks don't bother him as much. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna do those up because those are complicated. But they fit. They fit? Okay, that's they perfect. They go on. They go on. All right. So these are his. His are scoop boots, and we have Cavellos. So if you let's see your Cavellos. Uh, the Cavellos don't fit Chino, but I had the opportunity. We had the opportunity of trying both these boots. His aim is spot on for my phone, though. He aims for your phone? Spot on. Like to try pull it out with his mouth? He just phone. Bite her phone? <laughs> Um, anyways, I love the scoop boots so much. Chino came with these for trail riding and because he didn't have shoes when we got them and horseshoes, like he didn't have horseshoes when we got them and he wore these on trails. These are mine. And literally have loved these every single second of having these. I'm going to wash them. And then they we... Don't fit anymore. No. Well, they might fit Penny. No. Oh, I bet you they will. I should try them on her. No. We got them for Finn and he had smaller feet than Penny. Penny. Thin was a huge, Thin and Penny are just a few inches apart in height. Um, anyway, so these are the Cavella scoop boots. And they're the bad kind because you have to put back. Yeah, like these ones go up higher. See the difference? They go up higher. This one. They're sensitive, they rub on the horse's leg. So, because they go up so high and they're so closed. See how those ones are like way more opened. And so we always have to put like, a sock or or vet wrap that is what we used and it's annoying to have to do that like it's so much easier just to pull out the boot and shove it on and i find these come off way even though it's made even though they're made with like a lot of really good velcro really thick good working velcro i find they just fall off like you can see the different you can see how look up look up <laughs> You are the cutest boy. <laughs> so Finn was 14, one and three quarters, and she's 15, two. She is ready. I know. I know. You've trained her really good, she Sophie. Is ready to work. She's like, where's the treat? I know. Her. What can we do? I mean, she jumped over there. Penny's like, finally, you're interested in me. I love how she just lets me pick her feet without like a lead rope, without being ground tied, without anything. I think they're going to fit her. Oh. Sophie's like, they better because I told her I'll buy them from her. So Finn, I think, was a size two. Yeah, this is size two. And she has tiny hooves. Don't kick me. Wait, I should clean the other hoof and we'll put the other shoe on. No. I don't know if she's ever had boots on before. I don't want to make trying to walk them. She's like, this is horrible. So see? Like, as they get going, that rubs on them, whereas chinos don't rub. All right, Penny Pickle, let's show them what you can do. We're going to leave them on because I'm going to take her for a walk in the field and do some groundwork with her. Yeah. Some basic, simple groundwork because that's all I know. <laughs> don't cry. If she starts bowling, I'm going to go. She's going to be... <laughs> She's okay. I think she likes them. She's sidestepping. She's like, um, I don't know. I know. When I was like, I want to do something. I know. It's hard though, isn't it? When your own horse is begging you. All right. 
So both of our riding horses have shoes. What? Look at her ears. <laughs> But I think the ears was because the mini. She actually doesn't seem overly upset by them. So this is Gabby's Western saddle. And I think that this looks so lovely. We definitely, you're riding them in English on the trail? Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. Down, seat squishing down. No, wool pads actually, you know how saddle pads often slip back? Like my saddle pad slips back all the time. Yeah. Wool pads, they say never slip back. He's a big horse. So for our trail, we're not, like it's not gonna be crazy. I mean, every trail we ever do is crazy, so. Yeah, like we get lost on every single one. I don't think he likes the nose piece. I think he'd rather a bit. Yeah, I think he likes the bit way better. To be honest, I don't think Chino likes bitless as much as he likes the, his bit. Gabby has always said that she feels like he's always reaching for contact.